tuning in. I'm Leslie and I'm a personal trainer. Uh, in case you haven't ever watched any of the videos yet, um, I want to show you an exercise that's really good for the core. Uh, I have a combination of some ab exercises that will really work on pelvic floor, transverse abdominis, as well as a diaphragm. All of them are core. Um, these are very basic, but they really are effective. So, anyway, um, we're going to get started. Okay. Just sit on the edge of the bench. Um, your shoulder blades are going to be together, so nice straight back, chin level. Okay? And you're going to push your uh, shoulder blades together real tight. Um, belly button is fine. Bring your knees up and rock back. Blow out when your knees come up. Tighten your core. Rock forward a little bit. Rock back. Keep that back real straight. Blow. Looking high. You're going to keep the chin level. So just look toward the ceiling, but don't raise your chin too high. You want it level. So blow out when the knees come up. Rock forward a little bit and breathe out. Inhale, deep breath, going forward. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, going forward. Exhale, coming up. And you can also do an isometric hold so you can get up here and just hold it for a couple of counts. Keep your tummy pulled into the center of your body really tight. Push your chest up toward the ceiling, chin level. Now go back forward and up. So hold everything nice and tight in the center of your body. Keep that back nice and straight and breathe out. Every time the knees come up, blow out, just like that. Up and blow, and up and blow. Okay, now I'll take a second, breathe. Inhale, deep breath. Roll your shoulders around a little bit. And now we're gonna do um, what I call a kick out. It's a bench kick out. It's another basic, a little, little more challenging than the one we just did. Um, so if you want something a little more challenging, then this would be a good one for you. So you're gonna tilt back a little bit, same thing, kind of rocking back. Bring your knees up, and then you're gonna kick out, come back. Kick out, come back. You don't have to go way out, just keep it moving. And breathe out when the knees come to your chest. So bring the knees toward your chest. Keep that chin level. Keep looking toward the ceiling. Shoulder blades together, chest out, tummy in tight. And blow out every time the knees come up. Do it till you feel it and then take a break. I always cross my ankles a little bit. Um, you don't have to, you can keep them side by side. So take a second, breathe, roll the shoulders a little bit. And then there's another one that's nice. Um, it's challenging as well. This one's called a bicycle. Um, so you're gonna be in the same position, tilt back, and you're just gonna kick the feet out alternating. Keep that chin level, chest out, tummy in tight. Engage your core from the pelvis floor all the way up to the diaphragm. Keep moving. You can do one and hold, one hold, one hold, one hold. Keep the knees slightly bent at all times. And just keep it moving. And then hold, 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 and hold. All right. So those are three different variations. Um, you can do right on a bench. You can do them on the floor even. Um, so just make sure you keep that back straight, shoulder blades together, coming in tight, and um, just hold your body up nice and tall and look toward the ceiling with that chin level, shoulder blades together, and what we call neutral spine, okay? That's a straight line from the top of your head all the way to the hip bone, and then if you're standing, hip bone all the way to the foot, all the way to the feet. So keep your back nice and straight and engaged. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. Love you guys. I'll be looking forward to all of you on the next segment, and I'll show you some more great exercises for um, in the individual areas of your body. Love you all. Have a great day. Talk to you later.